Please excuse me, um, Sagittarians. I don't know what happened, but we're back. Okay. So, we're at Peaceful right now where you're um, thinking about working together with somebody um, or you're working together with somebody, you know, and, um, you know, having us working together to have a strong foundation, bottom of the deck. Um, but there may be delays or you could be thinking about working together with someone and all of a sudden you have a sudden realization or you're going to let go of something. You're deciding to let go of the situation. Um, it can work in different ways. Uh, one more card for the peaceful Sagittarians. One more card for the peaceful Sagittarians. One more card for the peaceful Sagittarian spirit. One more card. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're thinking about um, possibly letting things go. Maybe you guys got into it, you know, letting go of whatever happened and laying it to rest, healing. So you're, you're trying to be peaceful at this point. Maybe you got into it with somebody, you know, you all slung some words around, like, kiss my ass, kiss my ass, big ass, bitch. You never know. But you're trying to let it go and you're trying to lay it to rest because you, you're trying to be at peace with it. You're like, whatever it is, what it is. Um, and either you are watching them or they are watching you. Page of Swords, okay? Hopeless. What's the hopeless card about? Hopeless Sagittarians. What's the hopeless Sagittarian card about? Hopeless. What's the hopeless card about? Hopeless. Okay. Mmm. We got five of swords. Okay. Somebody may be jealous. Somebody may be pissed off. Ew. I hope that y'all are not uh, jealous about somebody. Trying to sabotage somebody and get away with it. But you already know it's not going to work. I hope that you're not like that. Please tell me that none of y'all are like that. Okay. If you are, you need to get that chip off your shoulder. It's almost Christmas. And we're at the end of 2020. So if you made it this far, then you need to be happy. Tell me more about Hopeless. Tell me more about hopeless. I'm also getting that if you tried to sabotage somebody, it didn't work. It's not going to work. So which is why you feel hopeless. Or if somebody tried to sabotage you, you know, because of their jealousy and envy, it's not going to work. Okay. Which is why they feel hopeless. But it's about the Sagittarians. Okay. Page of Wands also came out. So a good message might come to you. Good news may come. Premature communication might come as well because the page is a younger, a younger person. Oh, excuse me. My bad. So you can see the card. Okay. Yeah. Let me just move these over. Okay. So yeah, you might be. Um, you might have some good news coming. You tried to sabotage, you know, somebody tried to sabotage, sabotage you, but good news is coming your way in regards to that, okay? Or premature communication. Maybe premature communication more so if this person is, is jealous and envious of you, but don't trip. Karma is in the building, okay? Karma, not Carmen. Karma, okay? Hopeless. Give me another card for the hopeless Sagittarius. Hopeless Sagittarius. Alright, so you can have good news coming in in regards to somebody that was juggling you or you can have good news coming in by somebody trying to bring it in balance. Alright, bottom of the deck, yeah, um, four, hope you see that, four, uh, four of cups because, you know, maybe they're trying to balance the situation out because they feel like they missed an opportunity with you, you know, or, you know, they could be bored, but that's not your problem. So. Don't feel hopeless. They may be trying to fix it. They may be trying to, um, you know, balance things with you. So you got some type of communication coming in. Um, this could be past. This could be present. It could be in the future. You know, like I said, take it how it resonates. Okay. Now, let's see what each set has to surrender. Okay. What does the afraid... 
the Sagittarius that are afraid, what do they need to surrender? What do they need to surrender, spirit? What do they need to surrender? What do... Fearful Sagittarians need to surrender. What is the Sagittarius that are afraid? Need to surrender. Mm. Surrender. Either you or the other person needs to surrender their addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Okay? If you hooked on coke, you better stop that bullshit. What does the lonely Sagittarius need to surrender? What does the lonely Sagittarius need to surrender, spirit? Lonely Sagittarius. Okay. Nice. I'm trying to see if you can see this. Okay. Uh, it's as close as I can get. Otherwise, it's going to get blurred. Can you see me? Okay. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So get out and enjoy nature. Okay. Give yourself some time to think and release all of that that you're holding on to. You know, meditate. Do, do that too. Meditate. Deep breaths. You know, exhale. Shiwa. Shiwa. Peaceful. What do you do? Peaceful Sagittarius need to surrender. Peaceful Sagittarius. What do they need to surrender? Peaceful Sagittarius. Oh, okay. Surrender to your attachment to results. All right. The formula for success is to do all that you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Makes sense. Stop trying to control it all the time. Once you do your part, let it go. Give it to the universe. Huh. Remember? Hangman. So, yeah, you got to let go. So, whatever you're, you're hoping for or wanting to do, just give it to the universe. You did your part already. If you haven't, you need to do your part. And that's it. Let it go after that. And the results will come when you least expect it. Maybe when you're sitting on the toilet, you know, eating cereal, watching TV. You never know. What does the hopeless Sagittarius need to surrender? What do the hopeless Sagittarius need to surrender? Hopeless Sagittarius. Hopeless Sagittarius. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Okay, so you're feeling hopeless based on a relationship that was sabotaged or a relationship that somebody um, that you sabotaged. You know, surrender it. Let it go. Because it, obviously it doesn't serve you. Of course, you'll be thankful later. I hate hearing that shit too, but it's the truth. You know, they got to do work. Obviously, they got to do shadow work. Just like you have to do shadow work. And if you guys are meant to be, you'll come back together. Okay? So, that is the first half of December. Again, if you want to book a personal reading, you can look in my description box below. You can also go on DivineBalance.com to look at the bracelets and the shea butters. Put your orders in if you want. And please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you guys. Bye for now.